Come with me on a trip into angling adventure. We'll ride the ragged edge where the fish are big and wild. From the fabled Walker's Cay, we'll travel to the ends of the earth, to the loneliest oceans and the farthest rivers in search of the best light tackle action. We'll pit the smallest lures and the lightest rods against the toughest fish, and we'll burn the stories into the memory of film on the Walker's K Chronicles. Another year of the Chronicles has passed. Another season completed. Hard to believe. What started as an experiment has become a central theme of my life and a gratifying habit for millions on TV. Who says pretty pictures, nice words, and good music aren't enough? Anyway, we've numbered, logged, and stored this season in our library. It's labeled, What a Great Year. Ooh, beautiful cast, Tim. He took it real deep. What a beautiful fish. Good move, good move, Rick. Boy, look at the freckles on the spot. Look at the, interesting. Oh, look boy. That is. Look at the color. Cast it again, they're still there. Look at them all. Yes. Thick lip trevally. Nice tail and fish flip. Good eyes, good eyes. Got him, baby. <laughs> you see why I was having a hard time moving that one? It's bigger than I thought. Flip, flip, flip. There's a wake right in front of him. Done. Oh, there he is. <laughs> they give it their all, don't they? Baby, that's what we want to see. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice jump. Hey. Ah. It was a year that began with a long reach across the Pacific to a remote speck on the map called Midway Island, an atoll known primarily for its strategic geographic role in World War II. Now it's a destination for travelers looking for a ride on the wild side. Certainly Midway is different and not a little wild. Its old abandoned airfield, once a base for Allied warplanes, has long been reclaimed as a nesting ground for various species of albatross. And as I rode a borrowed bike across its scarred face, its history was almost palpable. It felt like a haunting must feel. Then I was on the water with Rick Gaffney, my host. Rick has been fishing on and around Midway for years, witnessing a growing sport fishery. Our quarry was a tough alley fighter known as the Giant Trevally. Rick knew exactly where this toughie lived. Perfect, perfect. Now it was up to me. Oh, he turned right off. He's got a nick in his back. Cast it again, they're still there. Look at them all. Yes, nice strike. That's not, oh. there they are. Got him. I've rarely experienced anything like this before. Pound for pound, the power and strength at the end of my line was unbelievable. Rick. You know what? They're not holding on to this plug. Flip. Yeah. Look back there. Drop it way back deep into that corner again. That 16-hour plane ride was a distant memory. Already these hookups with those bad boys had made this an angler's fantasy come true. Yes! Can't do much for you, unfortunately. Boy, this isn't a game here. Oh, he's gone. Huh? But that was a big fish. Oh, how exciting! And, and did you see how many there were in there? That was a. I'd estimate there were a dozen back in there. Yeah. Rick, I'm having the greatest time. This is really, really fabulous. I can't tell you how pleased I am to be here. In deference to the giant Trevally, we turn to lighter fare. We 
Got him. Whoa. Got around him nicely. The pig lip trevally, a slightly less aggressive cousin. Boy, I can see those thick lips. Looks almost like a permit. Let me get that jig. Thick lip trevally. Fish with the lips of a pig. Boy, that's magnificent, Rick. Nice looking fish. Boy, they're beautiful. Got the body of an Almaco Jack. The waters off Midway provided great sport. Different, but not better than the Florida Keys. The next stop on this flashback. As good as it gets, out of Key West on a bonefish skiff with my old buddy, Jose Wehebe. The target was Mr. Elusive, the permit. Oh, now you got him. Now you're gonna get your shot, right now. Nice tail and fish flip, good eyes, good eyes. Ooh, nice shot, Jose. I don't think he saw it. That one did. That one did, yeah. Oh, somebody's gonna find it. You got him, baby! <laughs> All right, well done. Thank you, brother. Very, very well done. Thank you, sir. Yow! Yowza! Yow! My goodness. He has got some mango lined out there. <laughs> Coming up, Flip. Look at, look at this thing, huh? The water is so clear, it looks like he's floating in air, doesn't it? Sure does. <laughs> Got him? Oh my God, but good job, good job. <laughs> you see why I was having a hard time moving that one? It's bigger than I thought. <laughs> now you know why he fought so hard, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> was that an eventful one or what? From success on the flats with Jose, my mind rolls back to the St. John's River in central Florida, where I hooked up with someone I spent my childhood with, a quiet, talented man named Scott, my best brother in the whole world. You never know. My only brother, too. Scotty! I can just keep him on here. You're unstoppable, man. Fishing and playing guitar with Scotty were something I did all the time, way back in another life. Lost back there under the roll of time. Back when the world was a little younger. When I was a lot younger. When almost all of my fishing days were ahead of me. And thank goodness I can still relive those days just by picking up a fly rod or a guitar and sharing some time with my baby brother. And thank goodness there are still places to go that have not changed one twig in the rush of what passes for progress. With artist Tim Borsky, I visited one of those old places because I wanted him to see the Florida I knew as a child. And I wondered how his artistic mind would process this antiquity. Later, we fished. Oh, Tim, 11 o'clock, about 150 feet. Okay. Nice fish tailing. Let me just poke across the sun here. You want me to stick it right on him from yeah, behind? Oh, yeah, feed him. Ooh, beautiful cast, Tim. Ooh, he likes it. That's it. That's 
it. Oh, man. Now that was great. Fly moved a good bit. That was perfect. Oh, she's gorgeous. Boy, she's copper, as copper can be. You think it's a girl? Um, I don't know. I have a tendency to call pretty things girls. Pretty eyes, beautiful eyes. That evening, while I washed the skiff, Tim did his magic with brush and watercolors. It hangs in my home. What a good year for the Chronicles. But there was so much more. Great fish caught in far places with good friends at my side. This past year, I went to more spots on the edge of the fishing world. But I never was happier or more excited than this trip out of Walker's Cay in the northern Bahamas. On a sea of glass, I rode south and east from the marina on the sea lion a 55-foot Whitaker, which has received better care than any other sport fisherman I know. Today, her shape and posture is a distinctive calling card to all those who know boats from Montauk to Mexico. Jack, there's a bunch of stuff down. I'm seeing snappers. Yeah, it looks like some amberjacks in there, a couple mackerels. Well, you'd think that you would see some some Jewfish or some moray eels or something on a wreck like this, wouldn't you? Yeah, you can see some lobster spines on uh, it, sticking out there. Where's that? Right over there, right at the end of the boat. Beneath us was an iridescent colony of fish, as varied and brilliant as any I've ever seen. And now in the slack tide clarity, every move and flash could be seen from the boat. It was as if the fish were suspended in air, the whole congregation a wireless mobile. Well, these things do pull. What is that? that is a I think it's big. a mutton. I want to say it's a mutton, but it could be a mangrove. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, that's a beautiful mutton snapper. Look at the size of that mutton. That's one big mutton snapper. Look at the size of that mutton. <laughs> that is a beauty. That's the size snapper that should be stuffed. That about 11 and a half right there. Look at the light, come, how it comes through his fins, how those fins light up. Oh. I, see, I could see this on a plate tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stone crab stuffing. Made it's not day. often that I'm reduced to being a spectator, but this was certainly one of those trips. Well, he just climbed all over that jig when I put it out there. He hit like a ton of bricks. Well, this fish, oh, flip, look, he's a nice cobia. Oh, look, look at the size of that cobia. Look wow. at him go. He's a beauty. Hey, that Jimmy, is some cobia. 25 plus. Jimmy, that's a pretty serious cobia right there. That is a nice cove. Well, I would what say. What a fish, huh? Flip. He forgot about 25 or 30 pounds, let me tell you. <laughs> that fish is closer to 50 than anything else. I got oh, a boga right in here. Yeah, let's weigh him. I don't think I heard him either too much there. Not at all. Very docile, too. Yeah, you <laughs> should die. What do you think, Jimmy? Should we release him? I think we should let a fish like that go. I what do a too, man. Good going. Thank you. Thank Good you. going. A busman's holiday for that you guys. That was terrific. <laughs> on test on test, I'll remember that fish for a long time. Jack, between you and Jimmy, I could have stayed at the dock today. Nah. <laughs> but as long as I can have supper with you, I'm all right. All right. It's okay, Flip. Your turn is next. You're going to get him. <laughs> Your turn's coming. I don't care as long as I can have supper with you guys. <laughs> Before this memory voyage is over, there's one more spot to visit. And from the looks of the traffic, there should be plenty of time to tell you about it.
It's occurring to me that I was able to fly to Venezuela in almost less time than it's taking me to go to the corner for some groceries. Anyway, the place was Venezuela. The friend, one of my best, Sandy Moret. The quarry, white marlin, or anything else that wanted to jump on my streamer fly. As we moved out of the harbor, the wind hit us at the doorway to the big water. Rollers carried us at a good trolling pace, and it wasn't long before we had a visitor from the world below. I remember it now in my mind's eye, zigzagging behind the fly, its sides lighting up like neon. Gorgeous as anything there ever was, and us, hearts pounding. Come in. my heart sing like the flashing neon and silver of the white marlin, dancing just for me at the end of my line. Keep jumping, baby. That's what we want to see. A lot of jumps. As it leapt, its body shining in the sun, I was transfixed by the image and struck by the thought that I'm the luckiest man in the world. Oh, yeah. nice jump. Let's try to land him on the right side here. We did a great job of thank building you. that fish. Yeah, thank you, sir. This has been a wonderful day. This has really been a wonderful day. And there is proof of it right there. That's right. So this was a great year, filled with friends and interesting places. Next year is already on the drawing boards, and I can't wait to get it up and going. New places, new relationships, new fish, and new challenges. Hey, the traffic's cleared up. See you soon. Good tides. <laughs>